Will a Boris Johnson government introduce drug consumption rooms? On Wednesday, January 8, Edinburgh East MP Tommy Shepherd stood up during Prime Minister's questions to ask Boris Johnson if he would consider a change in the law to allow vulnerable addicts to consume substances in secure facilities under medical supervision. For those not aware of such facilities, Shepard is referencing the highly sought-after piloting of a supervised drug consumption facility, SDCF. Supervised drug consumption facilities are places where illicit drugs can be used under the supervision of trained staff, who can intervene in the event of an overdose, and are typically used by people who inject drugs. The evidence has shown that the facilities reduce drug-related litter, connect users with healthcare professionals, save lives, no one has ever died in a SDCF, and reduce the spread of blood-borne diseases, such as HIV and hepatitis. The facilitation of an SDCF has been the subject of much controversy, with Scotland long pushing for the piloting of one to no avail. It was much to the surprise of some tuning in, therefore, that the question was not dismissed out of hand by Johnson. Instead, he pointed to an upcoming drug summit, due to be held in Scotland later this month. Few details about this summit have been revealed since then. What we do know is that it will be held in Glasgow on February 27, it will be chaired by the relevant minister Kit Malthouse, and that Professor Dame Carol Black, who is carrying out an independent review of drugs for the government, will be presenting her findings. It is not just the public, but the ruling party of Scotland and Glasgow Council who also seem to be in the dark about plans for the summit, with Holyrood Public Health Minister Joe Fitzpatrick recently stating in an article published in The National that he is very surprised that the UK government announced a summit in Glasgow without any consultation with the Scottish government and Glasgow. With relations between Westminster and Holyrood at a record low, and the yes vote once again on the rise, it seems the communication channels between the two government hubs have broken down. Pessimists might suggest that this indicates Scotland is no closer to the devolved drug powers it has long been seeking, which would allow for alternative policy approaches, such as a SDCF pilot in Glasgow. A recent UK government statement confirmed that it currently has no plans to introduce SDCFs. However, a few indicators suggest that this position could soon change. The same statement goes on to say that illegal drugs devastate lives and communities and those who sell drugs will face the full consequences of the law. The emphasis on the selling of drugs implies that the government no longer sees the prosecution for more on this story, visit the news article link.